Here we'll go through another example of finding the oxidation number of each element in a polyatomic ion. We're asked to find the oxidation number of each element in the ion with the formula C5H5-. We'll start by writing the formula up here and a table here for oxidation numbers of each element. Carbon has variable oxidation numbers, so the oxidation number of carbon in this ion is unknown. Therefore, we'll call it X. Hydrogen's symbol is written to the right of the symbol for carbon, but carbon is not a metal, so this is not a metallic hydride. Therefore, the oxidation number of hydrogen is a normal positive 1. We've called the oxidation number of carbon X, so the total charge on 5 carbon atoms is 5X. The oxidation number of a hydrogen atom is positive 1. So the total charge on 5 hydrogen atoms is 5 times positive 1. The net charge of this ion, shown on the top right of the formula, is negative 1. So the charges on all the atoms add up to negative 1. We can solve for x in this equation to find the oxidation number of carbon. So we write 5x plus 5 equals negative 1. Subtracting 5 from both sides gives us 5x equals negative 1 minus 5, which equals negative 6. Dividing both sides by 5 gives us x equals negative 6 fifths, or as a mixed number, negative 1 and 1 fifth. So we can say that the oxidation number of carbon in this ion is negative 6 fifths, or negative 1 and 1 fifth. Even though non-integer oxidation numbers are not as common as integer ones, we see that they are possible. So don't be alarmed if you occasionally get a fraction for an answer. So we can summarize by saying that the oxidation number of carbon in this ion is negative 6 fifths, or negative 1 and 1 fifth. And the oxidation number of hydrogen is positive 1.